Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, wherever uh, you may find yourself today. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining us with uh, uh, Opart Hygiene's uh, hospitality webinar. So today we're going to be going over um, hospitality products as they relate to Opart Hygiene, um, a little bit about some of our new products that we've developed, a little bit about the hospitality industry as uh, certain changes have taken place due to the global pandemic, COVID-19. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the technology that we're doing to ensure uh, the most efficient and uh, safe and healthy washrooms um, moving forward. So we're going to have it broken down into uh, three sections with uh, Bill, Ted, and Josh uh, helping us out today. So uh, my name is Adam Powell. I'm a marketing strategist, and I'll get us started with a brief history of Opart Hygiene. Uh, so uh, as you can see, our uh, hospitality dispensers. And a little bit about Opart. So the family-owned uh, company uh, began in 1962 in Germany. Um, it consists of uh, a group of mid-sized companies spanning across the world. So we have uh, factories here in Beamsville, uh, Ontario, in Ireland, uh, Germany, Switzerland, Belgium, uh, manufacturing facility in the Philippines. And we just got uh, a, a recent acquisition in, uh, in Armenia. Um, so there's seven locations worldwide. We have more than 700 uh, employees, which of 10% are from our R&D department. And um, we have more than 1,000 standard products and 400 patents um, to our name. So uh, our ultimate goal uh, mission is to break the chain of infection. We want to provide life-saving uh, access to hygiene solutions for, for just about everybody. So we want to make sure that hand hygiene, uh, as we more and more understand is a critical component to uh, having a safe and happy, healthy life. So we want to make sure that this is uh, available to everybody and something that uh, we want to be a, a major player uh, in ensuring that that is uh, universally accepted. So without further ado, we're going to be going into hygiene and hospitality. We're going to have our um, Bill Fitz, our own Bill Fitzpatrick start us off uh, into this section. So uh, Bill, whenever you're ready, um, uh, please uh, take it away. Great. Thank you very much, Adam, and good morning, everybody. I uh, hope you can hear me okay. And if you can't, Adam, is it okay? Yep, absolutely. Sounds, okay. sounds good to me. Terrific. Okay, if you want to go to the next slide. Um, as we all know, COVID-19 or coronavirus has changed our normal way of life. And for the foreseeable future, it, it is going to be critical to be looking at a hygiene program. Um, I know that when I walk into a store or walk into any kind of location, the first thing I'm looking for is where's the hand sanitizer because it has become commonplace now to be asked questions and to say, please sanitize your hands before you continue on this store. So people are going to be looking for a strong hygiene program that will, of course, meet their expectations, meet the customer's expectations, meet the hygiene standards of local and federal um, laws with regards to hygiene and how they're going to change from state to state or province to province or country to country. We're also going to be looking at, at ways that um, is going to prevent customer and staff infections. Of course, people want confidence in where they work and people want confidence in where they shop and where they're going to spend their dollars. So they want to make sure that they're going to prevent infections at all costs. And then you want to have a program that's going to be uh, a savings to you and a efficient program. You don't want things that are going to break down or run empty or uh, not be available for all of your staff. So in the hygiene, in the hospitality industry in particular, we have three areas that we need to focus on. The primary is going to be the front of the house where guests are coming into a hotel, um, going to be in the dining room in the bar area. You're also going to want to have prevention systems that are going to be unique to the back of the house. And you're going to want to have some in-room solutions because now customers more than ever are going to be looking for solutions that are easy to use and can be used with inside of their rooms. For the front of the house, some of the key requirements are going to be robust and tamper-proof. We know that customers are going to go through and they're going to use them, whether it's in the washrooms or in the hallways, and they may not be patient with the systems. So we want to have something that's going to be robust, and we're also going to want something that's going to be tamper-proof. You don't want to have something that's going to be uh, 
fixed or jury rigged, so to speak. So it's going to dispense a lot more products or stop or not delivering enough products. We want to make sure that it's going to be robust and tamper proof. We're also going to want for the front of the house high end design. And high end design is going to make sure that it can match into the decor that's going to be surrounding. Obviously, the gathering places for many hotels are going to be the lobbies and the communal areas. And you want to have a dispenser that not only can be seen, but it's also going to be fit in with the decor. Right now, customers are asking for devices that are touchless. They want them to be intuitive. You don't want to have to figure out the stand there to read the directions. You want to know how it works. And obviously, you want them to be a hygienic focus. You're going to want fast loading bottles so that when the system runs empty, it's not going to take forever or it's not going to take a very complicated process for someone to get that dispenser filled. You're also going to be looking for something that's smart, so something that may be able to tell you that, hey, this dispenser is running low or, or is out of product so that you can get to it before one of your guests comes to you with it. At the back of the house, some of the key requirements are going to be, again, you're going to want something that's going to be robust. You're going to want something that's going to be touchless and hygienic for the reasons I previously discussed. You're going to want something that's fast loading because obviously meal prep and other things that are going on in the back of the house, you're not going to have time to run around to the dispensers to make sure that you've got one that's working. You want to have something that's suited to meet a wide range of products. So not only are you going to want soaps and sanitizers, but for greasy products or greasy work, you're going to need some grit products. And of course, because you're in the back of the house and you're washing and sanitizing your hands a lot more, you're probably going to also want a lotion product so that you can have skincare for your staff in the back of the house. Again, a smart dispenser is an obvious advantage that you can have at the back of the house so that you can make sure that the product never runs empty. For in-room, you're going to run into some different requirements. Again, you're going to want some high-end design. You're going to want some branding because obviously there's a lot of um, work and effort that goes into making sure that a, a hotel's brand standards are carried throughout the property. With this in mind, you're also going to want something that's hygienic. Again, something that's intuitive. As you see in the picture of someone in a shower, you're not going to want someone who's going to want to be staring at the dispenser figuring out how it works. You're going to want something that's going to be intuitive and inviting to use. One-handed operation is going to also be critical. You're going to want a fast-loading bottle. And more importantly, you're going to want something that's easy to, to repair and replace. If you have something that's easy to repair and place, you're not going to have to worry about having the room go out because you have a broken dispenser. Um, which makes it very easy to just uh, grab and go and change it as you need it. Uh, you're also going to want something that's going to be tamper-proof because obviously if the guests see that you have a larger bottle of a product that they like, um, you can have them purchase it in the, in the gift shop or purchase them from housekeeping, but you don't want them taking it from the dispenser itself. With all these steps in mind, we have three very obvious solutions for the hospitality industry. Our Presidio, our KX series, and our new H3 series. With Presidio, it's really designed for the front of the house. It's a high-end, impactful design for entrance areas and hospitality settings. Again, it can be designed in, in any, quite, any fashion to match the decor, to fit in. But what's great about it is you put your hands into the opening and it dispenses a patented shower dosing system which allows the right amount of product to go onto your hands. It's normally going to be a liquid product which is um, dispensed at the correct amount but it's also going to be quick evaporating so that once the customer puts it on their hands they're not going to be left with sticky wet hands for a long period of time. Uh, it's very quick and easy. It has standard cartridges that are hygienic and it can be a standard cartridge as for our KX or our other systems, or it can be a Euro bottle system. It has a key to ask access. So it, again, it can be very well uh, maintained for uh, privacy and for prevention of tampering. And you also have Bluetooth and wired door opening. So you can connect it to a door. So for example, if you wanted someone to put their hands in or ensure that they sanitize before they enter the next level of the property or the next opening to the property, it can use the sanitizer and it can open the door. Our KX series is designed for both the front and the back of the house. It's stylish and durable. It's ADA compliant and with a very compact footprint. It's made of durable ABS plastic. 
again, in its quick and easy loading bottles. It's got a very hygienic cartridge system, so you can take the bottle out, replace it with another bottle. You're not going to have to worry about um, any residuals left inside the bottle. You have a button or key to entry into the system, and it's very ultra quiet on the touch-free design so that you can have a very low force manual operation or you can have a very quiet touchless and that's going to be kind of important when you're looking into convention situations or other areas because you don't want the dispenser being loud and voluminous inside of these uh, discussion areas with our kx smart technology it also gives our your guests an experience that they'll never have an empty dispenser and your staff understands you're complying with hygiene regulations. So what's very important with this is hygienic and it's an ultra quiet touchless technology as I previously mentioned, but it also is gonna measure the number of hand hygiene activations. So you can kind of look at it and it's in particular, if you think of it in a staff area, I've got 10 people going in and out of this door on a regular basis. I put in a, a rule inside our property that every time you come into this facility, you need to uh, sanitize your hands. You can very quickly and at a glance understand when someone has done their hand sanitizing and if the average number of hand sanitizers for the amount of activity at the door is going to be representative of how much product has been used. There's also an active fill or level measurement. So again, for maintenance, it's gonna be very easy so you can get an update as to where the products are. Um, in terms of volume inside the dispenser. Um, you're going to get feedback from the LED to improve compliance. So you can have a light that shines every time someone does it so that they can understand what's going on. And it's compatible with our washroom software technology. Uh, with our OPART systems, we have a family of pumps. And the family of pumps all have clean tip technology, which means no drips, no leaks, which is gonna be very important for a lot of our customers, you don't want things spilling on the floor and, and creating slippery areas or damaging carpets or, or wood floors. Um, with all of these, we have uh, pumps that will take us through. Oh. <laughs> we have pumps that will take us through from uh, foaming products or alcohol foaming products for lotions or gels for heavy duty products and for sprays. And one of the things that can very well work with us is that we can work with the products that you have or that you are currently purchasing and we can suggest the right pump for the application that you require. One of the strongest features um, regarding our dispensers is, is that you have a very large customizable area. So customers understand that they're going to need to use dispensing products and they're gonna to need to keep their selves and their hands hygienic. But what we wanna make sure is that we're not gonna be doing something that's going to be necessarily in your face, especially in a hotel environment. In some environments like a school, you may want something that's going to be um, highlighted and something that's gonna draw, attract attention. But in a lot of these areas, we know the customers are going into a hotel, they're looking for a dispenser and a dispenser that fits into the background is going to be seen as quite highly praised. Uh, so we have things that we can do for you with regards to a high definition logo, with branding, and also with all kinds of graphics. You can also deliver your new can care message if you want to tell people more about what's going on inside the, inside the bottle. You have all of these space available that you can do that as well. And we can create customizable fill level windows so that you can understand how the products are being used and how the dispensers are uh, filled or not filled or how much product is necessary by the unique fill windows that can be built into the design. And with that, that's I'll great. Thanks very much, Phil. I'll, uh, oh. yeah, that was, that was excellent. Thank you so much. And we'll, uh, we'll pick it up now with, uh, Ted house, our product manager, uh, and our H3 dispenser. Thanks Adam. And thanks Bill. Yeah. I, I'd like to talk a bit about our, our new H3 series. Um, this is a uh, dispenser available in three configurations. Um, you could have a single product, two products, or three products um, all attached together. And it's really designed to go in, in the guest room. Um, and of course, beyond that, um, it's designed to go in the shower with uh, products like body wash, conditioner, shampoo. Um, 
in cases where there's there's only two products or a single um, three-in-one product, it, it could uh, go in the shower in a single or double configuration as well. Um, as well, it can go by the sink. You could have uh, a soap or you could have a soap and a sanitizer by the sink. Um, it can, with its small size, it can go really anywhere that uh, that you might need to put a dispenser. So you could put it by by the door, by an elevator, um, in uh, washrooms by the lobby, really anywhere you, you need hand hygiene, whether it's soap or sanitizer. So it, the dispenser is designed with one hand operation. So you uh, you press it and you get product right in your hand. Um, it's really designed with a ran forward design. The, the bottle is exposed. Um, there's a, a very large label area where we can uh, where you can apply your uh, your product branding. Um, so it's a, a clear PET bottle, and then we have a shrink wrap on there. It can be fully customized. Um, the pumps we're using have clean tip technology, so we minimize leaks or drips. So at the end of the uh, at the end of the dispense cycle, so a little bit of product is drawn back in to prevent that little drip at the end of the pump. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's a modular design. We can have one, two, or three dispensers mounted together. It's a tamper-proof design. So we have a, a hidden lock in the bottom. It can either be a keyed opening or a, a button opening, depending on the security required where wherever the bottle is or the dispenser is installed. Um, it's a it's a quick swap bottle system. So we'll show that in a later slide how the bottle is uh, removed and installed. The uh, dispenser itself is designed for easy maintenance. So there's a uh, a wall plate that's attached to the wall directly and then there's a cover plate that can be replaced and then each individual dispenser can be replaced by themselves. Um, the size of the dispenser, it's it's a compact size. It's about three and a half inches deep. It's a 450 mil refill. So it's, it's a nice small size. So it can be installed just about anywhere. And the installation can be done with screws or adhesive, um, whatever is um, possible in the installation location. The uh, dispenser can be used in a closed or a refillable configuration. So we, we could have, you, you can have hygienic cartridges uh, where each refill is is pre-filled and shipped with a pump um, and then recycled when it's, when it's depleted. Or it can be set as a refillable option where we have a, a long life pump and then the, uh, the bottles can be refilled on site uh, the pump and bottle can be reused a number of times. The dispenser is compatible with multiple formats. So we could use uh, a lotion, um, a foam, a spray, um, many of the pumps that we, uh, that Bill spoke about earlier. They're, they're all compatible with this dispenser. Um, the bottles themselves are PET, fully recyclable. The, the pumps are also recyclable. There's no metal metal content in those pumps so they can be recycled. And the uh, the pumps we're using for this line uh, are, can be made with PCR, post-consumer recycled plastic to minimize their uh, environmental footprint. Uh, here we're showing a few of the different colors we have available. We have the, the midnight black, the pure white, and the brilliant chrome. So so these are all available options. And this is uh, showing how the the uh, bot, the refill is is replaced. So as I mentioned, there's a button or lock on the bottom. So we press that and the top cap um, pops up. So that's what secures the bottle in place is that top cap. Um, we tilt the bottle out and then we can either replace it with a, a new cartridge or um, take it away to refill or replace with a previously refilled bottle. Um, we place it back in place and just push the top cap down and it's secured in the dispenser. 
and it's ready to go. So here we show the uh, the wall plate that's affixed to the wall. So the uh, the dispense the whole dispenser bracket can come off of the the wall plate. Um, so if it needs to be maintained, replaced, or simply a, a deep cleaning is being done, it can come off the wall that way. And then the last slide on the right shows how each individual dispenser can come off of that uh, cover plate if they need to be replaced. Yeah, with that, I'll pass it over to Adam. Perfect. Thanks, Ted. That was excellent. Um, yeah, so we're going to have uh, Josh Gertz go over our smart systems and, and some of the benefits that the connected technology in our dispensers can uh, bring for hospitality locations. So uh, without further ado, take it away, Josh. Thanks, Adam. And thanks, Ted and Bill, for, for setting me up. I'm going last, but uh, definitely not least today. So um, jumping right in, um, just talking a little bit about what uh, Bill mentioned earlier. Um, obviously, coronavirus and uh, you know COVID-19 has created a, a, a shift in our day-to-day our -day lives. And uh, part of that is definitely the focus on um, uh, guests getting access to hygiene um, solutions um, in, in hospitality. Um, so one thing you want to you know ensure for your guests is that not only uh, are you providing a dispenser and the ability to to clean their hands, um, but also that it has feeling good and that it's you know always full. Um, and that's where our smart solutions come in. Um, so if you have guests using hand hygiene stations in lobbies or um, in hallways or wherever they might be, um, we need to ensure that they have filling good. Um, and our smart dispensers are capable of, of detecting their filling level and letting us know when, when they're empty so that they can be filled. Um, but that's not just for guests, for staff who need to be hygiene compliant. If you're looking to add in uh, you know, measures of whether or not staff are using um, hygienic solutions properly um, or enough, um, uh, this is where our, our smart solutions really come in, come in and shine through. Um, and of course, if you have a new cleaning process, if you uh, in, in COVID uh, land, I'll call it, um, uh, a lot of new places have been adding uh, uh, new processes for ensuring that um, rooms are properly sanitized or um, at various areas are properly sanitized, um, and we can help with that as well. So let me talk a little bit about how the system works. Okay, so I love this graphic because it really does give a great high level overview of how um, our dispenser data uh, flows through to our, our software. Um, so you can see the, the devices at the top there. Um, we have a wide variety of, of devices that can send data into our IoT core. So that's our IoT core in the middle there. Um, it's hosted in the cloud, so uh, the data flows off to the cloud, and then from there, we can send it on to our various softwares. So we do have um, a software called OHMS. Uh, that's more for the medical applications and, and uh, hospital compliance. Um, but right in the middle there is OWMS, our OPART washroom monitoring system. That is meant for um, tracking our devices in public areas and ensuring that uh, people are being sent to refill them at, um, as efficiently as possible. Um, and of course, we also offer third party um, custom integrations. That's on the bottom right there. Yeah, so uh, focusing on, on the OWMS system for, for this topic. Um, first, you want to ensure that your users actually get the product they're, they're looking for. There's nothing more disappointing than going up to a dispenser, um, trying to get your hands cleaned, and you aren't able to because there, there's no product in them. Um, and um, it can be consistently shown that um, on uh, guest experience is greatly developed on, on these smaller moments of hygiene. Um, having feeling good in the devices, but also you know, the cleanliness of restrooms, things like that, um, all equate to their, their opinion of the, the establishment. Um, and the, the better you, you perform in those smaller areas, the more people come back and you can show uh, time and time again that uh, the more um, clean a restroom is, the more money they will spend at that um, location. 
Um, the, the other thing we want to be able to do is um, improve your productivity. So um, time is wasted going to the washrooms to see if there's product in all the uh, dispensers, um, whether that's um, you know liquid dispensers like we've been mostly talking about today or paper dispensers um, or any other number uh, of devices in the restrooms. Uh, we want to ensure that um, we only have to go when we need to replace uh, filling goods. Um, and we can do that with the system. Um, we want to decrease consumable waste. So we want to ensure that we aren't um, replacing cartridges that still have you know, a good amount of product. Um, we want to ensure uh, we're not uh, you know, taking out paper towel that, that, that should still be in there. Um, and just generally decrease the amount of wasted product um, coming out of the, the dispensers. Um, and of course, the, the new world of COVID-19 compliance, um, you need to ensure that um, not only your hygiene stands, but all of your dispensers are always full so that um, your, your guests and staff can ensure that they're using um, proper hygiene standards. Okay, so this is a little quick um, view of our of the two main pieces to OWMS. Um, so you can see on the, the PC is our um, administrative portal. So this is meant to um, be for administrators of the system to come in and um, configure uh, you know, data flows or um, user accounts and all the sort of administrative pieces. Um, but on the right there, you can see our a mobile phone with our, our smartphone app. Um, this is really my favorite piece of the whole system. Um, it allows for um, uh, quick and easy look into what dispensers are empty um, and which ones have active tasks um, to, to refill them. Um, it gives a really great at a glance view and um, gives a lot of power to cleaning staff um, right in the palm of their hands. Um, yeah, so this is our, our uh, bigger view of the portal. Um, really, the, the main piece is on the right there with the pretty colors. Um, we have a green, yellow, red. Um, this just gives you a quick overview of, of the dispensers in, a, in an area. Um, you can see a lot of data there. Um, you can see um, the site, the floor, the space, um, and we can be very granular with um, how we're, we're setting up the system. So you can be 100% sure of the location of a device um and the the status of that device um it's a really granular and customizable solution um that we can use to um, match your your real life workflows and automate a lot of tasks for you it's really great um, one way that we do that is on this screen yes yeah, perfect um this is one of my favorite parts of the smartphone app so uh one thing that we can do with the system is create tasks based on this the dispenser state. So when a dispenser runs empty, we create a task to um, refill that um, dispenser. Um, and another thing we can do is actually when the device has been refilled, um, we know about that in the system, we have the, the filling level. Um, so once it goes back up, um, we can actually automatically close that task. Um, but uh, in the, if uh, in the Sorry, let me restart that sentence. Um, but sometimes you want to be able to go in and update um, a task manually. So um, here we can see that happening uh, on the smartphone app. Um, one of the customizations we offer is the ability to change um, what happens depending on the way you swipe a task. So you can see on the left there, we swipe to the left um, and we pull out the, the big red X. So that task can't be done. Um, and that'll actually pull up a list of potential reasons and you can quickly select that. So perhaps a dispenser has been damaged or um, you don't have the filling good in order to replace that. So what you can do is swipe left and give that reason. Um, in the middle, you can see the opposite. You can see, okay, I refilled that device, so I'm gonna swipe right. And it's just as simple as that, swipe right on the task and it sets it to done and records the time so that we know, you know how long it took to uh, refill that device. Of course, you can just see the, the standard task sitting there in the middle. So for the most part, with our automatic task creation and closure, um, you don't even need to go in and do this, but um, we still offer some great customization there if, uh, if you need to extend that workflow a little bit more. 
So yeah, I think that's I'll great. Thanks. Thanks very much, Josh. That was a great overview of our uh, smart connected technology. And so um, that basically uh, concludes our webinar today. So a quick uh, summary uh, that OPART uh, is happy to offer both front of our all of front of house, back of house, and in room solutions that keep guests safe. Uh, they improve the image, the brand uh, of the, the particular company. Um, of course, the, the reliable working in multiple settings in various different scenarios is very important. Uh, the devices are easy to service, uh, graphically customizable, so really making sure that that brand uh, sticks out for you. Um, and they can uh, integrate into advanced smart solutions that improve hygiene and cleaning standards, which of course is uh, going to be a critical component uh, in the post-COVID world. Um, so I would like to uh, take this opportunity to open uh, or to uh, any questions. If people have questions, you can go ahead and just type them into uh, your question box there. Um, so we have uh, one here uh, that's uh, aimed towards Josh, um, and that is uh, asking if the devices, if, if are people able to purchase the devices, the smart devices, and then integrate them into their own software system? Um, so yeah. maybe you can uh, tackle that one, Josh. Yeah, for sure. That's a great question. Um, we do offer third-party integration. We just have to hook our our sort of cloud infrastructure into yours. Um, uh, not necessarily going to be able to integrate with every piece of software. We, you know, have our own uh, uh, connection standards and things like that. But uh, if you have a a piece of software that uh, you are looking uh, for an integration need. Um, to get our data right into there. Um, you just let us know and we, we can look into it for sure. Perfect, thanks very much. And then the next question that uh, I can tackle here, it's for uh, regarding the H3 dispenser. Um, so this the question is, are the three dispensers uh, interchangeable? Like can they come apart uh, to be a one, two, or three? Um, and the answer is no. So the, the dispenser would come as either a three, a unit of three, a unit of two, or a unit of one. And Taiye would have to purchase it. Like the three units wouldn't uh, break into uh, individual pieces to be reconfigured. So you'd have to say, I, I need a three dispenser, I need a two dispenser, I need a one dispenser, uh, and then order accordingly. So I hope that uh, ties that up. Um, and it looks like that is just about it for questions. So um, yeah, there's nothing else. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for joining our webinar today. I hope you uh, took a lot of uh, valuable information away from it. And uh, I'd invite you to keep your eyes open uh, for our next uh, webinar coming up probably in about a month's time or so. I'm going to try to keep doing these uh, as physical contact is something that uh, is not quite as possible. So we're going to be uh, keeping it online. So again, thank you all very much for participating in our webinar today. Um, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care.